Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create three leg rigs. I know it says arm over here. You can use this for arm and leg. So the first one is going to look like that. Second one is going to look like this. And for the third one, we go to the transform tool, just come off frame zero, and we can do it like that. With this rig, you obviously you get the, the option if you want to make it longer and shorter. This is exactly the same as the finger rig for the hand. I'll link the, the video for that at the top. So let's go back to frame zero. And we're going to create a vector layer. Let's just hide all of these. So first thing, for the first rig, we're going to create a very basic thigh. Here we go. Select all them, create shape, create shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them again and with the curvature tool, just make it a bit more round. We are going to create another vector layer. This is going to be the calf. So we click like that. I'm doing a very rough graph. You can always just spend a lot more time. Select all, create shape. There we go. And I'm going to select all of them again. Go to your tool, just make it a bit more round. And I'm just going to go in here and correct some of these points. Just so when I hide these, that one, this one, and this one, and we got, we get that look. And we're going to create another vector layer. This one is for the kneecap. Let's just do that nice and rough. And uh, we are going to select all of them, create shape. Same story, curvature tool, select all of them again and just round it out. And with our hide edge tool, I'm going to take one of this one, this one, this one. Should we take this one as well? Yeah. And it should look like that. But then we're going to create a bone layer. And we are going to drag all three of our layers into the bone layer. Let's just give this guy a name. Leg one, and now we can start adding our bones. On the leg layer, let's just do that and that. Select both the bones, S for strength, and we are going to drag it down, but we're gonna, not going to drag it down all the way. So the next thing is we need to connect our layers. So I'm going to select all of these. They're going to be bound to the bottom bone. Same thing with this one to the top bone. And then for the kneecap, we're going to do it a bit different. We're going to select all the top points. So let's say these ones. And then I, or you can click on the binds, uh, the bind points tool. So I click I and Here we got to select the bone first. My apologies. Select that bone. G. Select the points. These ones. I and bind points. And we're going to do the same with the bottom one. Select the bone. G. Select these three points. I and bind points. You can spend a lot of time just getting everything 100% correct. This is just to show you how to do it. And there you go. A bending knee with the kneecap. All right. I mean, there are issues that's going to pop up, but you can come in frame by frame and decide what the kneecap needs to look like. All right, let's go for our second one. So we're going to create a new vector layer. Then I'm going to turn on my grid, Alt-G, 
and use the, the draw shape tool. And I'm going to make it a rectangle. So let's go over here. I'm just going to use something like that. You can decide on the on the size of it. It doesn't matter. So it does look a little bit small. All right. And then with our curve tool, we're going to drag the bottom and the top points out and just snap them over there. There we go. Next thing is we're going to duplicate this layer. And that's fine. Select it and just drag it down. Now just make sure that you get this rounding. All right. And we're going to create a bone layer. We should call this leg two. And drag both our layers in. So on leg two. It's a lot easier to create these bones because they just snap in. So from the middle there to the middle there, and you're going to do exactly the same here. Let's select both of them. S for strength, and we can drag this all the way down. Now we just need to connect our layers. Let's select it, connect to this bone, and this one. Select all of them. And connect it to this one. All right. So I'll G turn off the grid. There we go. All right. So let's just quickly remove those the strokes. So select all, hide edge. And there we go. So once you get stuff like this, where the shape is going over the stroke of the layer below, all you need to do, Alt-G, turn on your grid, select this top point, and just drag it down. It's going to snap on. And with that, that disappears. So let's take a look what it looks like now. And you obviously, you're going to get the, the bending line, this one. Just turn off the grid. And it will do that either way. All right, that's the second one. And then for the third one, let's create another vector layer. Alt G. For the third one, let's just make it a little bit bigger. So I usually go, it's, I make sure it's easy to get the middle point. So, there we go. Let's do that. All right. So there's the middle point. One there. So it's exactly the same procedure. So now we have to go one bigger. There we go. Curvature tool. Let's just drag them out. Almost snapping. That's it. There we go. All right. This is exactly the same as the finger. So this one gives you a lot more. You can move with the finger a lot more. It gives you a lot more control. So that's the first one. On the same layer, we're not going to create a new one. We select all of these, we copy and paste. And now we're just going to move this guy down. Just make sure there's a circle where that overlap. And let's create a bone layer. This is leg three. And we drag this guy in there. All right. So with the bones, keep the grid on. There's one in the middle. We add a pin bone. Same thing here. And same thing at the bottom. And then from each one of these pin bones, I'm just going to drag the bone out 
like that. Don't worry about the parenting. We're gonna sort that in a bit. And we're gonna drag from each one, we're gonna drag one going down, one going up. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Well, this one, you get one going up and down. These ones down, or this one down and this one up. All right. You get the visual idea. So we can turn off the grid for now. Let's just get all this stuff sorted. S for strength. Made that one a bit longer. It doesn't matter. S for strength. P for parenting. Just click anywhere on the canvas and all the parenting will go away. So this pin bone, we need to parent it to this bone and we need to get this target bone down to that. All right. This one goes there. This one goes up. And this one. There. Let me just repeat that for the bottom. It's not the easiest things. These ones are easier to, to get at than this one. But just keep on clicking and gets easier the more you do it. There we go. All right. So let's connect these ones. I hope I'm not messing this one up because depending on the, the way you parent these bones, it makes it, it either bends from here or it bends from there. So obviously for a leg, you want it to bend from here, from the hips and not from the ankle, but it's an easy, it's an easy solution or an easy fix. If you do get it wrong, you just take off the parenting for these guys and you just do the opposite. All right, so let's turn the grid back on. Oh, I forgot. We need to target these bones to each other and these ones to each other. So what I do, bone constraints, I just go check the name up here. This is B7, this is B8. So B8 is gonna be targeted to B7 and this one is going to be B8. This one is B9. That should be B10, so B10 to B9, and B9 to B10, and that is that. All right, so let's connect our points. So we're going to go to the to the the layer, not the bone layer, and select, and just drag this guy out up to the point where these points don't overlap. So don't do that. Just do that because they're all on the same layer. And uh, you might just select this one and the rig is not going to work. All right. So what are we going to do now is that these three points at the top, they're going to be connected to this bone. These three at the bottom to this one, these three to this one, and then these three are going to be connected to this one. So let's just go B to select the bone, G for our selection tool, select those three, I and bind points. Now you're gonna see the color, there's this greenish color inside. They need to be the same color as that bone. Same thing here, B, G, I, bind points, we go light blue. B, select this bone, G, I, bind points, let's go over here, B, G, I, bind points, all right, so now we've got all those points bound, select the entire shape, just drag it back into position, so let's go take the, the edges of this one, there we go. We've got that same issue over here. T, our transform tool. And we just drag it down. And that should be it. Alt G to take away the, the grid. So with this one, I'm just going to drag it off zero. 
and use the transform body tool. So if I click on this guy, and then let's see, I did do it wrong. I did do it the opposite way. So I'm glad that happened. So what you can do now is to just re reparent these bones. All right. So this guy, parent. Let's. Ah, uh, see, I'm here on, not on frame zero. There we go. P for parenting. There we go. Let's just take it off. Let's take those guys off. All right. So we just do it the opposite way. Parent this one to this one. And this one, we're going to go up to there. It should work now. All frame zero, transform bone tool. And there you go. All right. It looks exactly the same as this one. The only added benefit to this is you can make it longer and shorter. So it gives you a lot more control. All right. That's a quick one of how to create three different bone rigs, which you can use obviously for arm. You can use it for legs. Uh, you can use it for whatever you want. If you want to create a worm, you can do that. So if you want to add a foot or a hand to this, then I will just add on the bone layer. You can just add a bone to there. Turn on your grid. Uh, there we go. And just add a bone there. S for its strength, turn it all the way down. And obviously we're gonna have to parent it to the pin bone. There we go. All right. And then you can add your foot, just turn that off. You can add your foot or your hand over here and just connect that layer to this bone. Then it's gonna drag along with it. All right, and that's that. So that's a nice quick tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.